last time on Minecraft through time. CN 1.12. Don't eat all of my seeds. Yes, we got a little friend. That's so exciting. <gasps> He's on my shoulder. If everything goes to plan. See you guys next time. Okay, guys, I think we made it. Let's see. Yes, Minecraft 1.13. What an amazing update Minecraft 1.13 is. It is the aquatic update. Super exciting. Hello, little bird. We are back here on the Minecraft through time. Let's play. If you're not familiar with this, well, we started in alpha. And we've had to uh, make our way back here by upgrading our time machine up there. And we just happened to make it here. All the way to little ol' 1.13. So some cool things in this update. Wooden buttons that keep the uh, type of wood. And that also goes for pressure plates. And that also goes for door types. Super awesome. What a great... Up I swear if this bird makes one more creeper noise... Um, so yeah, really cool redstone stuff there, you know, a little decoration stuff as well. Uh, good addition to the game, I think. I am a fan of that. But the main changes were, were to the ocean. So they added a few really cool things. Prismarine stairs and slabs now work. They also added seagrass, sea pickles. You can now dye the shulker boxes and stuff like that. Um, you can also strip logs now, which is pretty cool. So let's go ahead and grab a log, and I'll demonstrate what that is like. I'm sure you guys have seen this, but they added that in this update as well, the 1.13. And then the rest of the stuff has to do with the ocean, really. They added turtles, turtle eggs, uh, and a bunch of new little ocean biomes. Like, they basically changed the way the ocean biomes generate altogether. Really cool stuff, but in order to take advantage of it, well, we need to go load some new ocean biomes, and I'll explain a little bit more as we go, like treasure maps and all of that good stuff. So, let's get a boat, and we can choose what type of boat we want today. I think I'm just going to go with a wooden boat. It's hard to go wrong with a wooden boat, right? Shouldn't need anything else on me. Let's get this wooden boat, and let's head out and try to find some new ocean biomes. All right, a few moments of flying, and we happen to find one of these new biomes. This is going to be like one of the more cold ocean biomes, and you can probably see there's a pretty big difference right away, and everything is generating. But this gives us packed ice, and its counterpart, blue ice, with these icebergs, and I don't see any blue ice here, and I don't have silk touch, so I'm not able to get it. But this is what an iceberg looks like. I just thought I would show it off, and I think it's a really great addition to the game. On top of this, we also get, um, if we hit F3, you'll and pull up the biomes, you'll be able to see that we are in a cold ocean. So there are ocean varieties now. Let's break our boat here. And then they also added kelp. And kelp has become a great fuel source. Um, it is pretty easy to farm. And then we also get the seagrass that you can collect using uh, shears. And this is used to breed turtles and can be used for decoration as well. So kelp is also used um, to... Uh, to create water columns, which is what it's most commonly used for nowadays, um, which is pretty useful because they added the soul sand in the magma block water elevators in the last update. So kelp, super useful for that as well. So let's keep exploring here. What I really want to find is one of the new exciting biomes, in my opinion, and that is the coral reef biome because there are a ton of new blocks there. And in fact, the coral blocks are really interesting. They allow um, for the duping of some blocks like uh, carpet and um, Minecraft rails and stuff like that. So not a, not available on every server, but just throwing that out there. That is kind of a bug that came along with the 1.13 stuff. And, uh, oh, dolphins they added. I just saw a dolphin jump there. Really cool. If you feed a dolphin, you can get the dolphin's grace. It allows you to swim faster through the water, which is cool. And actually, we should be able to actually swim in the water now. If you remember, you used to have to walk through water, and it was very slow, even with Depth Strider. But now, you can um, double tap forward or something like that, and it'll allow you to swim through the water. We also get cod. You can see cod there, and a ton of different fish types, including salmon and a ton of tropical fish. You can actually pick these up in buckets and move them along, along with puffer fish, which is a really cool addition as well. So, 
lots of really cool things here added in the aquatic update. What I'm really looking for now as I run this bank is I'm looking for a shipwreck because the shipwrecks were added and with those you can get um, oh actually there's something over here there's some pre-generated um, monuments little little fragments now and there's actually a new mob in here called drowned and on top of the drowned we're also able to get some loot so let's see if there's anything interesting in here this is a drowned he's holding one of the new items which is a nautilus shell and you use these to craft a conduit AFK fishing has been broken for a few versions now but um, you can now get these nautilus shells and use those to uh, craft nothing too exciting in here you can use those to craft um, the conduits which are awesome they allow you to breathe underwater and all that good stuff anyway let's keep going the way we we're going I'm still looking for a shipwreck I see another little underwater temple right there so we're gonna go check that out as well I'm not sure what these are called I think they're called oasis or something like that I'm not quite sure but um, yeah usually the loot in them isn't too great but every once in a while you'll get something cool also in this update there was underwater ravines you can probably see some of them spawning um, yeah, just a fantastic update. Honestly, they changed so much stuff. Um, we're able to take this little bubble column down here. Refreshes our air bubbles as well. And then there may be some drowned in here. Oh, some terracotta. Yep. Hello, drowned. And with these drowned, you're also able to find some tridents. So sometimes drowned spawn with tridents. So it's a new uh, throwable weapon in the game. So just a ton of really cool stuff added here. Ow, you hurt nothing in this one. Unfortunate. Let's make our way back up and I'm going to come back once I find a shipwreck so we can explore a shipwreck a little bit. There are a ton of varieties of shipwreck um, structures in the game and they almost all have two loot chests and within those loot chests we can get a lot of cool stuff. So yeah, I'll be back in a moment. If you notice here the watercolor is changing we're approaching a warmer type of ocean which is awesome because with that we're going to be getting closer to seeing tropical fish and all that good stuff over here are turtles turtles can be bred uh, with the seagrass and you can get turtle eggs which attract zombies and you can also when um, turtles grow up they drop an item called a scoot and with that you can get a ooh, tropical fish with that you can get um, you can craft a helmet that allows you to breathe a little bit longer underwater so a little bit underwhelming of a item I have to say so myself but this is a shipwreck and they usually there are usually two two chests in here this should be one of them if I can get my way through here um, this is a great way to get early gain items as you see here tons of iron diamonds yeah so if you are just starting out in a new world and you're near an ocean craft a boat and see what you can find um, you can even find some stuff like this potatoes not the best, but I mean, early game potatoes are pretty good. Pretty good fuel source. I mean, food source. Um, so that is what a shipwreck looks like. We're going to try to find a few more because I would really like to find a... Um, man, these tropical fish are beautiful. I would really like to find a buried treasure so we can uh, find a heart of the sea. Because with the heart of the sea, we're able to craft a conduit. Um, I don't plan on doing any AFK fishing um, to really craft a conduit. But maybe... Uh, Maybe you can craft one in your own world and get an idea of what one looks like. So we're going to stick to this warm biome over here if we can. And look for that coral reef biome and more shipwrecks. Oh man. Oh man, we found one. So this is what a warm ocean looks like. And in these warm oceans is the chance to have a coral biome. Now yet again, I don't have silk touch. I do not have the silk touch enchant. But there are a few things that I can get here. I can't get any of these beautiful, beautiful coral blocks, nor do I really want to even touch them. They're just really cool as they are. But there are five different types of coral blocks and then f and then a few varieties of um, coral shoots off of those. As so we go down here, you'll see, yeah, so this is like the red, and then you get these all these variety. But we can harvest the sea pickles, and the sea pickles actually emit light. So it is an underwater light source that is supernatural, which is really cool. And then here as well, you're able to find like dolphins, tons of tropical fish, the puffer fish like we talked about earlier. So that is pretty cool. Now sea pickles basically only used for lighting, but really cool nonetheless. So this is what a coral biome looks like. I love it. It is uh, a very, very beautiful, very beautiful biome. I'm really glad they added it. And if you 
if I break this stuff without silk touch, it'll just drop me some dead coral, and I don't want dead coral. I want it to stay alive. So we're not going to be bothering mining this today, but just wanted to give you an idea of what it was like and what is uh, th what this update really has to offer. So I'm still going to keep an eye out for buried treasure. That's what we're going to still be kind of looking for here. Um, so we need to find another shipwreck. Oh, there appears to be a shipwreck here. Hopefully there will be... Uh, a buried treasure in this one. That would be awesome. Alright, we're swimming now. We're making progress. No buried treasure in this part. No buried treasure here either, but we are going to be able to get some emeralds. And sure, I will go ahead and take the, uh, the gold and the iron. Yeah. Alright, I finally found one that had a buried treasure map. That took about five or six of them. And let's get up here where I can actually do stuff. I don't want to die to a drowned. I heard a drowned somewhere. Okay, so now we can use our rockets, I believe. And, oh, we're getting closer. So you can see there we're kind of loading the map. Let's keep going this way. Got to turn this way. Getting closer. And of course, I'm sure you guys know X marks the spot. So it is got to be it's got to be right here somewhere. And I find the best way to do this is just to dig out a big area. And it's usually um, between the sand and the sandstone. All right, found it. Yes. So this is awesome. We got some iron. We got some gold, some TNT, cooked cod. And then the really rare item here is Heart of the Sea. This is the only way to get Heart of the Seas. And with these, you can craft conduits, which is very exciting. And in fact, I still have a ton of just junk items on me. I actually kind of want some of the sand that I was mining. So we're going to pick up a little bit of this. And with that, we've covered the majority of the stuff in 1.13. But with 1.13, it was a pretty big update. Um, so just like 1.8. So there's a lot of cool stuff added. If you want to see more, I recommend you Google it. Um, check the textbook, as I say, and uh, see, see what all the features are that were added in 1.13, especially if you're a new player, um, because I think this was a really revolutionary update, probably my second favorite update after 1.8. And the next update, well, I'm really looking forward to that as well. So let's head back to the base. It's going to be a good little trip, but once we're back there, yeah, I'm about 2,000 blocks away, we'll be able to upgrade the time machine yet again and head on to 1.14. Oh man, we're getting so close. All right, made it back. We can put our buried treasure map there and I'm just gonna dump some of the stuff that we got today in here so we know where it's at. And with that, I need to craft a few more blocks so we can move to the next version. We're gonna need some iron blocks this time because it's time to start making these final changes. And then we also are gonna need some signs. So now we can have, have a variety of signs. We're still gonna use oak signs because they are the tried and true sign type. And let's go update our time machine. We're going to have to do some more mining off camera to uh, get back. But yeah, so there's iron blocks here. And then in here, there's a sign here. You can't change the past, but you can build your future. It said something like that. I don't know. It was something cheesy. And then we did have a lot of signs here. And I remember that this was the 1.16, I think. And that's that's where we need to go. And then this was like beta. So we need to start trying to get back to 1.16. I think almost everything else is the same. Of course, we had a netherite and shroom blocks. We, we can't do that. And we don't have a barrel block yet. But, uh... Yeah, I think I think everything else was basically the same. Let's go ahead and put in our three blocks here. And then we need to put some diamond blocks up, I mean I'm sorry, some iron blocks up here on the top. All right. And with that, I think we're basically good to go. Just a few more diamond blocks and I think we're good. So let's try to get to 1.14. We're so close, guys. Oh yeah, that seems to be working. Way stronger than before. Whoa. Okay, see you guys in 1.14.